Okay guys, what is up? Rick here again with another tutorial slash time lapse. Um, I'm just gonna take you through this video and narrate uh, when possible. So what you see here is a smoke simulation which I've made for a client which asked me to uh, make some colorful, colorful videos for his website. So it's gonna be used as a background video and they're gonna display their logo as a sort of a lithograph um, superimposed over it. That way you'll see the logo and through the letters of the logo behind it you will see my colorful smoke simulation along with some other visuals I've made but today I'm primarily focusing on this smoke simulation. So what it is, is an Explosion FX um, domain made with X particles for Cinema 4D. I use the sphere as a Explosion FX emitter and I attach that sphere to a spline and uh, I did that through using the Align to Spline tag of course and I animated the sphere along this spline and uh, since it's an explosion emitter, it will ex um, it will emit fuel, heat, and smoke in that domain, and that will give off this quite realistic and smoky look that you see here. Um, so I've added a little bit of uh, smoke, fuel, and heat heat dissipation in, in order to make that all dissipate disappear into uh, nothingness because if you don't do that the, the fuel the smoke and the, the heat will uh, indefinitely stay in the domain and, and that will take up a lot of space and memory so to achieve the quite colorful look of the smoke I had some issues with this, uh, there are a, well there are always numerous methods to do anything in Cinema 4D and X Particles. The way I thought I would do it was create multiple emitters with each their own color of smoke and have them interact with each other, but I found it quite difficult. So I found it quite difficult to have the, the multiple smokes. Um, collide with each other so the way I solved it is just have one emitter just one sphere that emits all the, the heat the smoke and fuel and I lit it with lights I just put some spotlights on it made sure in the volume tab I put the volume contribution skill all the way to I think it's one I think one is the maximum so slide up the, the, the volume contribution. And that way, when you color the light, it will color the smoke that color. So when you add multiple spotlights on the smoke, one from above, one from the left, one from the right, etc. That way you'll achieve this quite colorful look for one explosion emitter. The volume contribution is of course added through the Redshift tag. I rendered everything in, in Redshift. I'm not sure if you can do the same in Octane. Octane users, sorry about this, but I, uh, I use Redshift. I, I switched from Octane a while ago and yeah, I'm, I'm quite happy with it. Apart from the, the spotlights that light the smoke from the sides, I've all I've also added a couple of lights within the smoke. So I added some area lights, I think, or point lights, it doesn't matter, in the smoke along the, the spline that the emitter sphere follows. And the, the lights are also animated with a align to spline tag and they, um, they, they light the smoke from the inside, which just adds that 
adds that new layer of, of detail especially when when the, the smoke starts to dissipate and holes start to appear you can really see it um, shine through nicely it it really looks awesome and, th and that also has the volume and that also has the volume contribution skill all the way up to one or all the way to the max whatever the, the number is and that's about it I used I think I used like a three centimeter voxel size to have the simulation cached quickly so I can quickly preview it and then I used the new upres feature with which is in um, the latest X particles which is just a great way to well yeah like I said quickly have your simulations cached with a which a with a large voxel size and then through upres you can increase the detail I made sure the, the upres scale was set to one centimeter that took a that took a long time to cache I think it was was a cache of like I'm not sure maybe maybe 20 hours 24 hours it was quite long the cache is over 130 gigabytes it's giant but I think the result is a quite detailed and sharp smoke because my problem with with X particles is anything over maybe one and a half centimeters it, it starts to look uh, blocky and choppy you you can see the the voxels which I don't like and you definitely don't want that in a hero image for a website so yeah 130 gigs for the cache but it was definitely worth it so upres use that feature all right this was the video I hope you enjoyed it I hope you learned something if you have any questions drop them in the comments here below and I'll make sure to answer them don't forget to subscribe and like the video share it if you can it really helps me out and I'll see you in the next video take care